Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Idiotically Tutorializing Caveman to Cosmos with me, Idiotic Ultimara. In the previous episodes, we went through... In the first episode, we went through the options for the game, the customized custom game options. Uh, the second episode, we went through the bug options. Uh, the third episode, we went through the first text and the first city location. Now, we are. This episode is going to be mostly focused on trackers and their use in the game, and why you kind of want to be building as many as possible, as often as possible. We have a few scouts just running about the place, um, doing their job. So, yeah, let us continue with what we were doing. Uh, no thanks. Uh, my wanderer died, that's fine. I said, my wanderer doesn't really bother me. So here's my trackers. Trackers have, uh, start with Hunter 1 if you build the Hunter building, which we did first. And they also have a benefit of capturing. They have a one, plus 125% chance against wild animals. And they have a plus 25% pursuit chance against animals. They also have 35% chance of pursuit. So that's 55% chance of pursuing a target. They get one up to one free strike, free first strike. They get one stealth strike and they also have a 25% chance versus animals. Then you give them the Hunter ability, which gives them a 10% chance to subdue animal. So yeah, they're pretty, pretty strong. And they're needed to subdue. You need to subdue as much as possible. That I cannot reiterate enough. Where, ah, there's my stone throw guy. Uh, we are actually on an island by ourselves. Well, I don't know because we've not been down into the tundra yet and we don't really want to go there because it hurts. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Uh, yeah. There we go. Killed two animals with one guy, which is nice. We'll heal him up quickly. And yeah, we are on an island by ourselves. Okay. I think what I'll do next then is actually go down this area and try and... Mm, the 15% hurt is pretty deadly. <clears throat> Until you get Tega. The double movement through Tega and stuff is pretty useful. Um, yeah, see, can traverse Tega without receiving damage, double movement in Tega, which we're needing if we're going to go through this Tega land, so, yeah. Uh, we, I think I'm going to put him through the Tega, if he can do it. You are just going to keep running about the place. Uh, same with you, I'll heal you up just now. You can kill that bird. Keep running. Okay. There are a few routes to take with the second round of... So the first round of tech, you want to build up to um, trackers. Second round of tech is whatever you decide you can either go down the cultural identity route to try and get as much science as physically possible as early as possible, or if you have built your uh, rock gatherer after you build. So after tracking, the best ways, probably the best things to go for are oral tradition and hard hammer per percussion, if you haven't already got an oral tradition before tracking. Then after hard hammer 
uh, percussions, you can go down the route of going for cultural identity to get the Elder Council, which is plus 10% science, or beakers, uh, and it actually helps a lot with beaker counts. That plus 10% adds to everything. All subdued animals are plus 10%, uh, all research buildings are plus 10%, so it can that can stack pretty heavily. Or you can go down the uh, route of upgrading your stone toolmaker drastically by going down a soft hammer percussion, chopping, piercing, scraping route, and all these other things. This, in the short term, this gives you more tech. In the long term, cultural identity probably gives you more tech. Uh, we don't have any caves, if I remember correctly. I, I was looking for caves, but we never managed it. If you can get caves, I would suggest going down the petroglyphs as as quickly as possible. The Lascox paints are really good. Um, they give you a free Lascox paint in a caves in every city, which is plus one uh, culture pl and plus one um, education per turn. That's not the thing that makes it good. What makes it good is the plus four tourism per turn, and then the culture boost for every single time a great person is born and that can really really become strong what I think we're going uh, the other route you can take is trying to go down the food route if you don't want to go down the science route you can go down the controlled fire cooking herbalism route what I would suggest doing is going down the shelter builder blah, blah, blah. Um, what I will do in this series is actually go down the soft hammer percussion, chopping, piercing, scraping, and carving. Uh, as I said, this gives us plus one, two, three, four, five um, science once the stone tool maker is built. And then we'll go down the cultural identity route. It doesn't really matter which one you go for here. Um, prehistoric dance and prehistoric music are almost the same. Okay. We did not get any stone? No. Do we know where? There's copper. There, mm, there's marble nearby. That's nice. Um, stone. Oh, man. Man, the we have a really good site here. Caves and stone. Um, if you can get caves and stone in the same la same border, then you can actually build Neanderthal culture. Neanderthal culture is one of the strongest cultures at the start of the game. Every single unit in the entire game becomes uh, plus one in strength up until uh, sedentary lifestyle. There's another stone. Tegas tend to have stone, actually. Stone, copper. Because they're so bad, they tend to have good things in them. Good resources. Mm. Oh, there's another marble. So there's one mar There's two pieces of stone, two pieces of copper, and two pieces of marble within this land. I might even build up towards that fairly soon. Let's put a hunter this way, and I guess I'll just move you around, because why not? Uh, you can follow the you. How strong are these? Pretty strong. Um, I think I'll go this way then. And the hunter can increase in strength. I the best thing I would suggest doing with these guys is actually going for hunter two. If you go with damage. You look at whatever is nearby, so at Tega, I would then suggest going for combat one, and then into um, Tega. But as you can see, combat actually gives you a reduced chance to subdue animals, and Hunter 2 gives you a plus 15% chance to subdue animals. However, you do have a minus 15% strength against any unit that is not an animal, and then you have a plus... 25% chance against animals, according to this, because minus 15% strength 
and then you add 40% against Thanos. Um, I'm actually going to build... I didn't realize you got two levels. Let's go for the combat one here, because I do want the Tega thing, since it's the only tile nearby that can hurt you. After these last trackers, I will go... I will decide what to build after the trackers. Again, best thing to build right now is trackers, as much as possible. You do want to subdue all the animals. Um, you don't really matter, to be honest. I just don't want to pre uh, press E on them. Um, they will go down in the Tega and kill themselves. Because they're like that. Um, kill this thing. <laughs> There's an emu. I wouldn't mind killing that emu actually. Units also tend to spawn, or animals tend to spawn on animal titles. Who knew? It's good to... Uh, I want to kill you. I was going to put you down in Tega, but whatever. I'll keep you on stay the hand, actually. You're meant to be on stay the hand. Kill the emu, please. There we go. We have subdued our first animal. Uh, oh, now I have to walk it back. I forgot that I had to do that, actually. Oh, well. Uh, so, yeah, we've subdued our first animal. We're going to walk it back. Uh, and yeah. Animals only have a movement of one and they will die to any units nearby. So you want to walk them back with your trackers. Um, I'll heal up here for now. You can go this way. I might get you to go back home. Yeah, you're not doing anything, so you can just go home. The same with the scout, I might get him to go home as well. At least for now. Mm, keep going this way, so you can go home. There are no animals over here, which kind of sucks. Needs more animals! I need to kill all those animals. Oh, and another thing about hunting animals, if you've noticed, is we are getting hammers and um, hammers and food. So yeah, another good reason to hunt animals: hammers, food, and science. The walking back thing hurts a lot. The finest workers in stone are not copper or steel tools, but the gentle touches of air and water working at their leisure with a liberal allowance of time. Don't think we can build any proper wonders, noob. We get too many. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Go there. Um, keep heading home, please. Uh, you, I guess, can go back. Um, this is the scout. Let's go down this way. And you're ready to go into the Tega. You can't go down many tiles. What? If it's 15% per tile, that's 15... 30, or it's 15, 15, 15, 15, not 15% of their max health, it's 15% of their current health. Go there, go there, just keep heading home please, okay. So you can't go in quite a bit, it's just advisable not to. However, my 
um, scout and my spearman can, since he has the health to kill that piece. Oh, I just killed it. Uh, I wanted to actually subdue it. I guess you took what I said quite literally. Kill it. Okay. <laughs> I I killed it. God damn it. Now you, I might move you in a few tiles, 15, 30. They can go in maybe four tiles before they actually die. I. Uh, just kill that thing. Penguins! Penguins are awesome. Uh, you can heal up. Might even just delete you. Yeah, no. Ah, oh, shit. There was a unit there, wasn't there? Um, kill that. Just so I want to. I want you to subdue them, please. Stop just killing them, please. Just subdue them. That'd be so much easier. Okay. So next thing I would suggest building is the rock gatherer, so you can get into the stone hammers. Actually, did I? I did say there, didn't I? That does reduce the rock gather by two turns. Nah. You're okay to grow now. Um, hit them this one. Kill this. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> uh, actually, there is a chance that he won't move. They tend to stay on these until they have to move. So that's actually half decent. Okay. Still no animals. You might die, you might not. What are you at? 1.4. I can move one more tile and then I would have to move back. Hey, I subdued it. Great. <sighs> Great. If a unit has no health, however, they actually don't lose health in the Tega. So things like subdued animals will not lose health. Um, I think settlers don't lose health since they don't actually have any. And so on and so forth. Ooh, kill. And we subdued a Wallaroo. Yay. If you have a line of uh, trackers, it could make this whole thing of moving back easier for some of your trackers since they would you need to head home because hmm, I don't know what's over there so head back to there please and you can head this way maybe even get the scout might get that rock hopper to go right there Um, what if I get you to move this way? Ooh, you can go there. Head back there, please. You can't do anything until next turn. Nothing over here? Okay, that's fine. What I could do is move this unit up here um, I'm actually going to use, you know what, screw it. They can all run back and forth by themselves. You can do it one of two ways. You can run back with each individual hunter or get the, like do a train of hunters. Let's go back down this way. You can probably kill that. So I want you to go there. Um, you can go there for a sec. Keep going. I'm gonna build a stack of subdued animals next to. So here we go. Our first subdued animal. Every single subdued animal can create a myth of the animal type it is. You can only build one of each. So if you have like two emus, you can only build one myth of emu. However, they can also all build a myth of whatever 
type of animal they are. So they can build an emu or an a myth of birds, usually. Um, but that and other myths become later in the game. I believe... I'm not 100% sure, but I believe they're under cultural identity. Or somewhere. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, so we don't we don't need another emu, but more animals are still useful since they can build you other improvements. Animals can also build you improvements, not just. Can you go there, please? I'm actually going to get you to run back. Um, I'm actually going to get you to heal quickly, and you could just uh, line wait. I don't want you to kill. I don't want you to get killed. Hey, we killed a kangaroo, which gave us one hammer, three food. Just keep going. But no subdue, which is unfortunate. Once this rock gatherer is done, we're gonna build the. Give me six hours to chop down a tree. And I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. Once we're done at the rock gatherer, we'll build the stone, stone tools workshop. You can heal, please. There you go, almost dead. So how many turns was that in? One, two, only three turns in, and it almost killed them. Yeah. You need to make their levels higher. You, I guess, can go down this way. This way. Go there. Rock hopper can just automate build up. Um, hunt, please. Kill you. Kill the wombat. Didn't subdue it. It's fine. We're not finding any animals to kill. There's a jungle tarantula, but hmm. Which way do I want to go here? I guess I could go down this way and see what's behind these mountains. Uh, head back one. Since I've got an, uh, I've not got animals to stay out, but animals, I s will tend not to jump into your territory unless they have the feral um, trait, rabies or whatever, uh, and then then they will jump into your land and actually attack things, but otherwise you're not, you're generally safe within your own borders, generally. Next thing we want to build is the stone toolmaker. Here we have plus one, so you've got what it gives you, plus one hammer, plus one gold per turn and plus two beakers. And it actually, it tells you how much it will actually get with all your modifications that you have currently within your empire and city. It will actually give us plus one hammers, 0.6 gold per turn and 2.3 beakers per turn. So it's not as strong as what it, well the gold wise it's not as strong but everything else wise it's stronger. I think. You can go kill that. And it managed to run away. God damn it. Go there. And, oh, damn. So, as long as I'm not going on to Tundra, which you are. Because this is Tundra, not Tega. God damn it. As long as I wasn't going on Tundra, I was actually okay with this, but I am on Tundra, so I kind of need to stay on Tega and not Tundra. Hmm. Okay. Um, you can go down this way. Find more animals, please. Ah, why is there no animals? Kill that. Got, ooh, I found someone. 
red borders could be so many different people. I don't know who that is, but I have found an AI. They're fairly close to me, just not on the same island, which makes them a little bit. I could get, I could meet them fairly quickly once I get raft building or something. But rafts die so so easily. Uh, if their borders, if I built a city here and my borders met theirs, maybe I'd be able to meet them quicker. I want you to heal. You can go into the city, so I can build wombats. Okay. I want you to quickly check up here. Did I see anything? No. So I do want to go back to the Tega. You definitely heal up here. And I'll keep continuing down this way, I guess. Hey, a bird. The bird's probably going to fly away. Here, I would actually suggest building the herd over the um, the actual myth. The reason why I would suggest building the herd over the myth is hammers, hammers, and more hammers. As you can tell, the mob or the herd will give you plus one hammers and plus one food. The more important thing is the fact that it will give you plus one hammers. The plus one food is also really nice. Uh, at here, you could you seen that my the length of time it took me to grow went from 160 or something like that to 81. So yeah. When it comes to the different, if you can build a herd over a myth, I would suggest building the herd. If you can't, myth. Uh, I'm gonna run back to take us. So I can heal up. Okay. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you all in the next episode. I hope this all helped. I hope this helped out a little. Yeah, it's we're gonna to get to the not so tutorial side of the playthrough. I think most of the game has been Yeah, like there's not much more that I can explain. I'll try to explain some more things, but I don't think there's many more things that people need explained. There is, yeah, I'll see. Thank you all for watching. Have fun people and goodbye.